Imagine, you've just published the most extensive article in your niche for a certain topic, but the top ranking articles have hundreds of backlinks for that keyword. How are you going to edge them out of their spots in the SERPs? I'm gonna show you how. If you haven't seen our first two videos, feel free to catch up by checking out our playlist. I'll link them in the description below and maybe, you know, have a little clickable thing around here. But right now we are covering the SERPs competitor backlink strategy. The reverse skyscraper technique, also referred as the SERP competitor backlink strategy, is another beginner friendly link building strategy that is easy to carry out and can yield pretty impressive results. You've probably heard of the regular skyscraper technique before popularized by Backlinko. This reversed version is different in the way that instead of producing new content that is superior to competitors for each link building campaign, you will be creating campaigns for content that has already you know, been published on your site or already exists on your blog simply by looking at the backlink profiles for the top ranking articles for the focus keyword. Its advantage over other strategies is the fact that its prospecting stage takes considerably less time and sometimes you're able to generate lists of several hundred link prospects within literally just a few minutes. If you have access to a backlink monitor software like Ahrefs or SEMrush, you're golden. But since Respana has direct integrations with both, I'll show you how you can get the job done all in one place. Just a quick note, if you haven't watched our previous videos, you may want to check them out as we will only be covering the discovery process for these leads and also the pitch that goes along with it. Anywho, let's get into it. Similar to the anchor tech strategy, we need to identify the page or article that we want to build links to. As mentioned earlier, this strategy usually works best with blog content that is already published. We will use our article on micro influencers as an example. Once you have the page or target for that campaign, then we can start with building our list. Instead of starting right inside of Respana, we're actually going to start with just a regular Google search. Just search for the target keyword or maybe the search intent around that term. I'll search for the intent of what is a micro influencer instead of just micro influencer. Here we can see the results that show up and all we have to do is copy the URL of the post that we want to find the backlinks for. Once you have the URL copied, hop back into Respana or the backlink monitoring tool. With Respana, we are going to use the backlink search automation this time instead of the keyword search automation. Paste the URL of the competing article and we're all set. If you want to look for a specifically do follow or no follow links, you have the option to do so, but we will search for all links in this case. Go ahead and click continue and set up any other filters. This part is important because we can filter out a lot of junk or spammy links that are pointing to this page. So we're gonna set the minimum DR domain rating as 30. Other than that, we will then click run automation in the bottom right. Similar to the keyword automation, Respondo will create a bulk list of opportunities for you. Instead, this time the opportunities will be pulled from the backlink profile of that page and not any search engine results. And that my friend is how to build a list of leads based on the backlink of already ranking articles. Now. Let's talk about the pitch. The competitor backlinks pitch won't be as automated as the anchor text pitch, but there are still a ton of opportunities to automatically pull unique data. You can automate all of this in Respana by including variables. Simply click into your message where you want to include a unique variable and a variable icon will appear on the right side of your email editor. Select the icon and insert the variable you want to use. Some places you want to include personalization is your subject line, obviously mentioning the recipient's name and also including the title of their piece in the message. Some other tactics you can use to encourage more responses is by feeding their ego a little. And that I mean by complimenting something that they have referenced in their content. You can also include a soft personalization to make it easier for the recipient to identify the link placement by mentioning where the current link is located so that it makes it seem like you actually read the article. If you do decide to go with a personalization that mentions the direct location of a link placement, you can go one step further by including a screenshot. Adding images and screenshots into your pitch makes your message more engaging and paints a clear picture for the recipient. One final piece of advice is to include at least one short follow-up, just in case the person reached out to has missed the email or hasn't gotten a chance to respond to it. Usually four to five business days works best as a little buffer. Like I said toward the beginning, this strategy is great for building very relevant lists of leads very quickly. We always preach personalization for every pitch, but sometimes adding a screenshot to every message can take a while. That's why we recommend segmenting your targets or lead list by domain rating. Any sites above DR60 should always be hyper personalized. It's always good to find the balance between personalization and scalability for your link building campaigns. But that's my time for this one. See you in the next tutorial where I'll share our take on the, one of the most popular link building practices of all time, guest posting. Later friends.